On today's episode, we've got a cup final and a massive local derby all in one game. Hit like and subscribe and let's go marching on together. What's up guys, Jason Lemmy here with episode number 14 of Marching On Together and we have got the League Cup final against Manchester United to play today. Nothing massive, nothing drama. A couple of bits of housekeeping though, we've got some transfers to fill you in on and I've got to fill you in on some missed games because we've actually missed some games between episodes this time. So we'll start with the outs and the first guy to leave was Sergio Cordova. I've been trying to offload him since I got here actually because he wasn't really good enough for the team. I got a 600,000 from which is half what the club paid for him. He spent a lot of time out on loan. He wasn't developing. I needed to make some money for the big signing I was teasing at the end of the last episode. So he, he had to go. He's quick but he wasn't really offering anything much beyond that. I also saw a youngster Stuart McKinstry to Barnsley. He's been there on loan all season anyway. And £600,000 was nothing to be sniffed out for him because, he, again, he wasn't a player that was going to develop into a first-team player, certainly not a first-team regular, so I thought we'd just let him go, again, raising money. The next big sale I made was Daniel Everson. He was our second-choice keeper when we got here. £2.7 to Genoa. He came in at the start of last season. He came in before we got here. He was here when I got here, and that for a fact. The Danish international keeper, but he was only good enough to be second-choice. I've got Hugo Lloris as cover. I don't really need him. He's been playing well in Serie A, but he was never, didn't really have any potential to develop to become a first-choice keeper. I thought I could probably find someone over the summer that would fill that gap, so I thought cut my losses, get him out of the club. Again, raising cash for the big signing that I will reveal in, in a few moments. Before I do that, though, let's talk about the non-big signings I made. So I brought in Nathaniel Chaloba. He had a cap for England. I think he got that in real life. I don't think that was a... Uh, I think that was an in-game thing, as far as I'm aware. I don't remember him. I don't remember him playing for England. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on this. I don't even know where I'm looking. First game for England, uh, England was, yeah, 2018. Okay, so it was a real-life cap that I just forgot about. Anyway, I brought him in from West Ham. He cost me £7.5 million. Pound. And the thinking there was I'd sold Suarez. I was a little bit light in central midfield in terms of depth. I thought I'd bring him in to be the extra man just to fill in that gap. I don't think he'll play much at all. He'll play the old game. You can see he's really made three appearances for us. I say he's made three appearances. Was that for us? Did I... No, it wasn't for us. It was for West Ham. I, I, I thought I hadn't picked him. I was very confused for a second. Yeah, he's, he's not going to play a lot for us, but he just gives us that extra depth. There's a few players who can step up. So just there to add weight to the squad, really. But he joined us 7.5 million from West Ham. This was the biggest signing I made in terms of money, but not in terms of ability or star power. As you can tell, it's Christian Keller. He is a new gen with some really strong potential. He came in from Norwich, and actually I've spent 20 million, rising to 25 on him. He's only ever played once for Norwich. He played this season, made a sub appearance in the league. But I've got a good feeling about this kid. I don't know why. I think I can turn him into a special part of our team long term. I'm going to try and loan him out. Certainly next season, if I can't find a loan for him at the back end of this one. But keep an eye out for him. I think Christian Keller's going to prove to be money well spent. But that said, without any further ado, let me reveal our superstar signing to you. See if you guessed right in the comments in the last episode. And our superstar is Samuel Umtiti, the French international formerly of Lyon of Barca. I signed him from Inter. And weirdly, because we all know he's a pretty good centre-half in real life. He'd been at Inter for a season and a half and only played once and played well. I got the, play, got the player of the match award in that one game he played for Inter, which makes it all the weirder that they sold him at a haircut to us. We got two and a half million off the price of the pay, what, he, what they paid for him. They essentially paid two and a half million to use him once. He's coming to the team for us, nineteen million pound, pretty good, pretty good fee for a player of that quality. It's all consistent with most of his career. Played four games, always looked fairly good in them. I've not been disappointed. I mean, this guy, this guy, let's just have a quick look at his milestones here. He won Serie A last season by playing that one game for Inter, apparently. Uh, won the Super Cup of de España the year before that, the year before that won La Liga, and in 2019, 2018, won the World Cup, La Liga, and the Copa, I'm guessing that's the actual Copa del Rey, I'm not going to bother checking too hard. And again in 17, uh, in 2012, won the double in France so yeah, not a bad signing I don't think I'm pretty happy with him he's 
playing pretty well for me so far. He will play today against Manchester United. He's the big. So there's a few freebies, a few youngsters I brought in. We'll worry about them when they come into the side. But without any further ado, we have to go play and hopefully beat Manchester United in the League Cup. So here's the lineup, and this is going to be a test of how much I've actually improved the squad during the window. Because last time we played United, we lost 6-3. It was a bit of a bit of a poor performance. But we've 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 made some upgrades, and hopefully they'll work for us. So we've got Justin Bilo in goal. Tiny Edwai, Robin Koch, Samuel Antiti and Sorachi at the back. Buendia, Skip, Phillips and Augustin Ertzi. I recalled him from his loan at Rangers. Because he's been playing pretty well for Rangers. And okay, it's Rangers. It's the Scottish Premiership. It's not, you know, the highest level of football. Or, you know, not meaning any disrespect to Scottish fans. But it's not quite on the upper tier of world football. But he had a few good games for Leeds before I let him go away on loan. He's come back and he's actually played really well. He is, in theory, the best left winger I have in the squad right now. So I thought I'd bring him back, and I thought we'd give him a few games. He's done okay for us since I brought him back. I'm not unhappy with this decision. So keep an eye out. Let's see if he can get a goal for us today. And up top, of course, it is Curtis Jones and Joe Gelhart with Paolo Gotzi, Verba, Kovnacki, Shackleton, Sorensen, Persin, and Ruan on the bench, which just means mean Rafinha has been relegated. These are some of the youngsters I've got on trial. A lot of youngsters are on trial at the moment. Just because there's not many players on our youth team because I've released a bunch because <laughs> they were rubbish. Uh, Murillo hasn't really played either, but yeah, it's the, we've, we've got a squad now that I look at. Let's try and remove some more players somehow. I brought a whole bunch of young players to get them used to the first team that can have, can develop. That's what's going on there. Don't get super confused like I just did. But we've got guys who haven't played a lot. Like Mendes is coming in this window, so is Murillo. Pedrozoli has come in this window as well, and so has Andreas Shevich and a few of these others here. Uh, Wesley, but we've got an actual, we've got a squad that feels deep now. That's what I'm trying to say. And now we just have to see if we can, we've improved it enough to hold United off and maybe get a win in this League Cup final and get ourselves a place secured, nailed on in Europe before we try and you know push our way up the table. So into the dressing room, I want to say, pick up where you left off last match. You will get your hands on that trophy, and that's what we're going to try and inspire. And some people look inspired, motivated, focused, all kinds of good stuff. It is a full-strength United side, I have noticed. And we've got a talent view. Well, chasing the big game is finally upon us. Can you win the EFL Cup here today? i going to say that one, because it's a lot of words. I won't read out, but you know, you will know it if you play the game. Your Leeds team face a tough challenge in the final main night. The clear favourites to win. Are you confident the players can upset those odds? We are going to win this game. I know it. That's what I'm going to say. Our team, you've seen it. It's familiar. It's a 4-4-2. It's what we do nowadays. We just play 4-4-2. It keeps life very simple. The United squad has such players as De Gea, Maguire, Ibanez, Tellers, Wambasaka, Pogba, Benson, Kerr, Dybala, Rashford, Greenwood, and the man that punished us last time, Lauro Martinez up top it's going to be a tight one strap yourselves in let's see what we can do we're going to straight in with a kickoff highlight can we get an early goal that'd be good Koch on the ball two on tt back to Koch. good interplay there skip oh, gives it away and now lataro martinez trying to punish us very early in the game and we're in trouble <laughs> we're in trouble right away and i should have seen that coming really I should have prepared for Lataro Martinez a bit better than I did tactically because I completely forgot to drop our defensive line back. I'm going to do that in just a second once this uh, once this replay is done and hopefully we can fight our way back into the game because I, I forgot that we don't defend well against big clubs with the defensive line so far at the field. Free kick now for United and this could easily be 2-0 right here. It's going to be Dybala stepping up and it's come off yet by in the wall. Curtis Jones heads it on but there's no one really there. Ibanez is going to be, be picking up the ball and we've very much got to get back here. Mason Greenwood on it. Can we get, get back in front of this? Lautaro Bailo making a very good save to put it out for a corner and we've got to hopefully do it again now. Just get rid of the ball and keep ourselves fighting and it comes off the five head of Harry Maguire and well over the bar. Throw in for us now. Yosemir goes to Gelhart. Gelhart putting over the top. Won't find Curtis Jones with that one. I mean, we're pressing them, but we're not really doing the job we need to. Yosemir needs to get this ball rid as fast as he can. Doesn't find Gilha. Our passing has been terrible in this game so far. And Skip makes a tackle finally. I'm starting to get worried about Calvin Phillips, by the way. He doesn't really seem to perform. Gilha with a pop. 
and De Gea makes the save. Yeah, Phillips goes missing in big games. I'm not liking it, and he's supposed to be the club captain. That may be changing. Corner now, it's with Buendia going short to Phillips to skip as a pop and really was wasteful. Could have taken an extra touch on that one. And now United is rushing us. There's no one back there. Lautaro Martinez is through. It's up to 2-0. Had to be 2-0. That was really, really poor. And it was all because Oliver Skip made a very bad decision to have a pop rather than, you know, taking his time. And we've just been swamped. We've just been swamped. We're usually so good from set pieces. I think I'm going to have to do some berating of our team in just a second because that's unacceptable to me. That is completely unacceptable. We should be better. Corner now is with Buendia to skip. Skip to Buendia again. Back to skip. Skip to Yedvai. Yedvai finds Phillips. Phillips to Yedvai. Oh, he's given the ball away again. What are we doing? What are we really doing here? Phillips to skip. Skip to Gelhart. Gelhart to Ertzi. Ertzi finds Gelhart. And now Yosemir has found a, a poor cross, actually, is what he's found. And now Lotaro Martinez with a chance to complete his hat trick. And Titi, though, cuts him out, shuts him down, lays it back to Bilo. Let's regroup. Let's rebuild. That's what we're looking for. Ball goes for Gelhart can't get there, but Ertzi can. And Ertzi with a chance now to skip. Ball out wide to Josimir, who hopefully won't give this away. Skip. Over the top looking for Ertzi. Ertzi's into the box. Plays it off for Gelhart. And Joe Gelhart, who has been a bit of our goal scoring hero when he's been fit at least this season, gets himself on the score sheet and gives us a way back into the game. And that's actually kind of what I'm looking for is a way back into this game. I know we're not going to level terms by half time, but this does give us a bit of hope. Maybe this will spur us on second half, better performance. A few players not showing up on Titi's having a bad game. Phillips and Ertzi also having bad games. We need to buck some ideas up here. And I, you know, I'll, I'll figure that out when... <laughs> I'll figure that out, hopefully, over half time, is what I'm trying to say. Into the dressing room. I'm happy with your performance. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to say, show them what you're about in the second half. Because we've got to be better than that in the second half. We really do. Free kick for United, Maguire taking it to Telles, and can we get this ball back? Dybala is on it, which really you know reduces our chances. Phillips, though, has picked the ball back up, plays it through, looking for Curtis Jones on the flank. He is dangerous on the flanks when he gets a chance to get out there. Cuts it back, Jeremy Buendia, cleared off the line by Ibanez. Throwing for United now, and it is with Juan Bissaka to Greenwood. Back to Juan Bissaka. We need to do some tackling here. I've sent on Verber at left back. I've sent on person on the right wing. Dybala gets the third goal, which might make this all futile because Naki has come on up top as well. I took off Phillips because I was sick of him. I moved Jones back into midfield. And now we really need to get back into this one. And it's going to be tight. It's not going to be as bad a defeat as last time at least. But still, we've a long way to go before we catch up to the big four. I think that's what we're learning. We've got a, lot, a long way to go before we catch up to the top four because... This, I mean, this was never going to be a gimme, but it should have been better than it is. And another free kick for United. Fernandez whips it over the top, and Bilo is there to make the save. He's kind of apparently kept us in this, looking at his rating. Bilo over the top, looking for Kovnacki. Greenwood, though, heads it on, and Titi is there. Jones out to Ertzi. Can we get ourselves a goal? Get ourselves back in with a shot. Even yes, gets rid of it. And it's as far as Lataro, and we're in real trouble now, because even though there's five people against one, I don't fancy any of their chances of keeping him out. Bilo is the man that does the job, and it's, it's not going anywhere. Goal kick now for us, and it's with Bilo. At two minutes left in injury time, Koch has picked up the ball, plays out to Yedvai, to Persin. Persin over the top looking for Gelho, who gets on the end of it. Can he score? He can. That's 3-2, and he needs to get himself back on the ball, pick it up, get it to the halfway line, and we need to pick up and go again. We need to see if we can get ourselves a late equaliser here. Maybe, maybe the dream is still on. Who knows? Who knows? The great finish by Gilhart. Good, good way to get his second. We very, I don't know why he couldn't figure out to pick the ball up, but if we can get ourselves a third, maybe, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen for us. This is going to be the full-time whistle. It's all over. And we have to watch United pick up the League Cup. But because we're good sports, we're going to stay here. We're going to actually watch them lift the trophy. I I don't think we've disgraced ourselves. I'm not going to say it's the best performance we could have put in. 
I don't think we've disgraced ourselves though. I think we've done okay. We have certainly given ourselves sort of a good showing considering we're seventh in the league and United are second or third and a long way ahead of us in the table. We got to the final and we only narrowly lost it. I mean, I say narrowly, that it looks better than it was, I think, because of that late second goal. But still, we have done just about okay and there's very little left to do now, but pick ourselves back up and see if we can maybe get ourselves an FA Cup win, which actually is worth more than... Obviously, to get your best shot um, is worth more than the League Cup anyway, because that just guarantees you a spot in the Europa Conference League, and we would rather be in the Europa League itself if we can help it. So I'm not super disappointed, but it would have been nice to pick up the League Cup for the second time. So we're going to come back in the next episode for the game immediately after this, which will be the Brighton FA Cup game, because I think the FA Cup is our best chance of a trophy this season. I'd like to keep following that. We'll keep that run going. Hopefully it will work out okay for us. I have got some transfer business with the summer going in the background, but I'll fill you on that when it all comes off because that makes more sense. In the meantime, guys, you can find me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Insta, and Patreon as Chasing Lane. We don't get it like and subscribe, which is up there handily somewhere. Magic Graphic will remind you that you should have subscribed by now and rung the bell or notifications because that will tell you when I go live with things like the FM Premier League, which is always good fun. In the meantime, guys, I have as always been Chasing Lane. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.